This is a really new old church, um, by which I mean that everyone you saw today um, has been um, a member of this congregation no more um, than four years. And in fact, most people have been coming two to three. Um, so it's a, it's a group of, it's a church full of newcomers, really. And I think for that reason, all of us um, are really sensitive um, to the conditions that bring people into the Episcopal Church. People come here because they're hurting, they come here because they're searching, um, oftentimes not always just because they've always been Episcopalian. We think hard as a community about the kinds of things we want to do um, to make sure um, that other people who need to find us can. That starts on our website uh, where we um, make sure that we have um, a message of invitation that signals um, that no one is excluded from worship in our particular tradition, regardless of their beliefs, their sexual orientation, of their race, of their political affiliation. We, want, we spell those things out so that people know um, that this is a place where everyone um, can be. Um, then when you enter the narthex, um, we have a message of welcome um, that doesn't assume people know what it is to do Episcopal worship. So um, we give very clear instructions about how to participate in our service and also um, we let people know that if they'd rather just sit and be, that's an okay thing to do as well. Once we get to the service proper, and you guys saw this, um, we actually um, begin by practicing the service because our experience here in this community is that um, most people are not familiar with our tradition. And so one of the ways that we say welcome um, is by um, going over all of the parts of the service before we begin. We usually ask visitors to write their information down on a visitor card and that follow-up comes either from me or from our deacon Charlotte Love, maybe from our senior warden Tim Wilkin. There's really not a whole lot of us so it's a fairly simple operation. Whoever gets there first sends the email that says we're so glad you came. Would you like to be on our mailing list? It's really that simple unless somebody comes a second or third time in which case maybe we go out to coffee or have have lunch. Um, so it's pretty up close and personal around here. All of it is um, thought through um, as a way to make sure that once people, before people even walk into the door, actually, um, they know that we really mean it um, when we say that this is God's house and um, they have a seat here if they'd like it.